2017. Are you ready? One, two, three. Let's go. Power 99, Powerhouse 2017. I am here with the queen of the night, Cardi B, newly engaged. Congratulations. Can we see the Thank ring? You. Look at this. Ten carats, right? Eight carats. Eight carats. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling, babe? You just got... So I'm on the stage, and he got down on one knee, offset, and I'm like, wait a minute. Is this happening at Powerhouse? And he proposed to you. What did he say to you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it just happened, literally. So, you know, um, first of all, they kept rushing me to go on the stage, and I'm like, wait, wait, what's going on? Is it my stage set yet? I know I missed my stage set, and it's like, am I in trouble? What the hell is going on? Then I see the Amigos perform, and I'm like, they always go behind after me. Right. And then I'm like, oh, they probably want me to get on stage to perform our new song, uh, Motorsport. Right. And then, you know, I just performed it a little bit, and this motherfucker, <laughs> he tapping me, and I'm like, what? what? What's going on? I'm, I'm confused. And then he just got all his D and it's just like, ah. no, first thing first, when I'm getting on the stage, I see my mom behind me and I'm like, I saw mom? your mom. Yeah. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> and, and I, was, I like, was next to you and you were like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, like, what are you doing here? And it's just like, so he got your mom to come here tonight and you didn't know. Yes. What? Yeah. So what did he say when he got down on one knee? He was just, I. Girl, I, can't, I couldn't even see his mouth. It was just so loud. It was just everything. I, I, all I could see was Jesus Christ. Like, I, I, I can't. I'm so happy for you. I just say yes, yes, yes. How I'm are you forever. feeling? I feel, um, I'm so lost for words. I feel so emotional. Like, I feel like I want to, uh, no, I did the whole crying in the back and everything. Did you guys talk about marriage? Like, have you talked about that or this came out of nowhere? We we talk about it. We talk about it. We just always be talking about it. He's just be telling me I'm going to marry you and I'll be like, <laughs> well, now it's real. Okay. So do you know where you want to have your wedding and everything yet? Oh man, I don't know. It's gonna, it's gonna have to be like uh, in between. It's gonna be a gangster celebration. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm so happy for you. I literally did an interview with you before Gangster B Volume One. Yes. And then all this stuff happened. You've been number one on the charts. You have a song with Nicki Minaj and your boo, mm -hmm. your fiance. Yes. Tell us about it. Um, it's it's amazing, you know. Um. For um, like you know, like for the Migos to make this to make this happen for me, for me to even like join a record with them and everything, like it's like you know, since since I started dating um, Offset, I see how they work and I see how talented they are, and it's like wow, it would be a dream if they ever if I ever perform with them on stage. Right. Wow, it would be a dream if they ever like collab with me and they collab with me, and it's just. You know, got Nick, they got Nicki on it. Right. It's just like, let's just make this song go to the top, you know? Yeah. And now I'm playing with the big dog. I see you, Beyonce, the collaboration. Is that happening? I don't even know where did that rumor... People are crazy. People start rumors and <laughs> do things. I was I happy. Know. I was like, yes, Cardi. I mean, I would be to happy happen. too. <laughs> I wish that can happen. <laughs> I wish. And put that into existence. Right. So what's going on with the album? Because I was really excited. And then you were like, I don't know if I have the right songs. I'm going to push it back. Is that coming out soon? It will be coming out soon. It's just like... You know, you never, I, you never feel satisfied, especially when, like, you know, you hit freaking the number one song in the country, and it's right. just like more pressure to do it better. And every single day, I have different ideas. I feel like music and ideas change all the time. And what I don't know, like, I'm something that I like a month ago, I, I don't like it now. Right. When it comes to my music, so it's just like I'm gonna give it like two more months, but I'm gonna be dropping. I'm gonna be dropping a lot of songs. My drop a single. I'm go I'm dropping a freestyle real soon. I was supposed to drop it on my birthday, but right. you know I'm very strategic, so right. we're not gonna. Right, right. Yeah. What's the name of the album? 
My name of the album, I don't know. I might name it Underestimated. I might name it Under Arms. I don't know. <laughs> Do you feel underestimated? Because I, I feel like you're that Cinderella story, and I just want you to win. And I said this to you a long time ago, and now you are winning. Do you feel like you're still underestimated? You want to know something? I feel like you can never... As a, as, especially as a woman in this industry, it's like you. I feel like you always gonna be underestimated, and you always gonna be the underdog. Like first, at first, people used to be like, "You were never gonna be a good rapper." People used to tell me, "I'm never gonna get." Um, I'm never gonna be played on the radio. People used to say I was never gonna get on the billboard, and then when I got on the billboard, it's like, "Oh, you're gonna be a one hit wonder. Nobody wanna." Do. And it's just like. I just keep dropping things, keep dropping things, and it's just like, I feel like you're always going to be underestimated. Mm -hmm. Always, always. Well, you're proving them wrong. I'm proving them wrong. Yeah, you got a record that hasn't been held since Lauryn Hill. Yeah. You know, like, how do you feel about that? Like, you're in the company of Lauryn Hill, literally. It, it felt, it felt like amazing. It, it felt like, wow, if this really happening, like... I, I always wanted to, like, hit the billboards. I never really... For me, like, to be like, oh... They didn't even thought like, oh, I, I want to hit number one. I never we even think that I could even hit number one. And it's like when you hit number one, it's just like, it's, I just can't believe it. Like, it's just like, wow. And, and it's so crazy, like the happiness and the joyfulness. People try to take that away from you, mm -hmm. but you can't let that get in your head. And you just got to keep it, keep it going and keep proving it to them. Right. You're living your dream, girl. And, yes. and listen, this came for you. All right, because you're spitting and you're doing your thing. And it's only from here, you're only going to go on up, girl. Yes. So now we're going to plan the wedding. Yeah, now and, I got to plan the right. wedding. <laughs> and then we're going to plan a baby. <laughs> yeah, I got to plan that baby. <laughs> and we're going to plan the album. And I got to plan the album. <laughs> Damn. That's a lot of planning, girl. A big, Damn, I got to plan the whole wedding. Uh huh. <laughs> Are you going to be a bridezilla? I, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm a, and I'm a showzilla. Like, just before a show, I go crazy. I could only imagine on my brain, you better learn this goddamn recital dance. <laughs> what, so, do you don't have anything in mind? Because I feel like, do you have a dress? Do you know who your bridesmaids are going to be? Like, you must have thought of, about that. I definitely know who's going to be my bridesmaids. Your sister? Yeah. Hennessy? Yes. Right? Uh, my publicist, my cousins, my my best friends. All of that, you know what I'm saying? I, I definitely, I'm already, oh, I already got a picture. A lot of red. I want red. You got to get, are, would you do your wedding on VH1? Is that something you would do? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared. I, I don't want people to see a nasty, nasty side of me. <laughs> <laughs> like what Gucci Man did, right? Maybe. I'm crazy, though. I want to be like, oh, my God. Everybody's fired from the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Cardi B, I mean, tell them, tell them how you feel, Cardi. Talk to them, man. I can't even talk. I'm so, I'm so like, in shock. Like, I just, you know, I, 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 everybody been coming up to me. I just feel like I need, like, to go to my room and, like, think and and find words because i'm just so lost for words i'm so speechless i'm so full of joy love emotional i just want to be with my man hug him and let him know how much i love him and <laughs> on that note cardi b make sure you look out for the album the wedding the baby and all of that mean to say what cardi b power 99 powerhouse 2017 this is what we do <laughs> Powerhouse 2017. One, two, three. Let's go.